for you that happen this project using Firebase database. This is a mobile emulator and this is Android Studio I'm using right now. And over here I have some Java code. These are all my activities. So at first let's run this project, okay? At first, I have a splash screen. Once the splash screen goes away, there's a register button and a login button. From a register button, you can register for the course by a professor and you can log in. Since I have already logged in, it's gonna directly go to my professor course. Just suppose I am one professor. Just tap the login button. Since I have already logged in, it's gonna show me all the courses. That's the four courses I have in it over here. And I have used the Firebase authentication system to make a login. These are all my login emails that I use to check it. And my database is from the Firebase. And I'll show you my real-time database. These are my real-time database. The, in this database, I have the attendance, I have a student, and I have a class, and I have a class up here. And the student gonna get the attendance on this class. That's the student's ID number, and this is attendance. In attendance, I have a class like a class, like 409. That's one of the class. 416 is one of the class. That's the describer. It is. This is a 409, and this is 416. And if I have to make attendance on the date of this, the student ID that shows the date, and the student ID shows that this student was present. Now let's go to the attendance. Okay. Let's make attendance for 409 class. Okay. In this class, I can do. Once I click the 409, I can either add students or take attendance. Let's add a student first. Okay. It asks for the Magnus ID, that's my university ID number is, so I'll make it 0001113031, that's my student ID, and the student name will be name. Once I add a student, or I can delete a student if I have the same student, so let's add a student. The student data is added, so the student data is added over here. So that will be where see now you can see in the real time databases I just got the zero 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 one 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 that's my student and all the students and four nine class is shown over here all the students and four nine class is shown over here since I have already added the students if I want to delete the students let's see I want to delete the student zero 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 one one Check the name. Name. The name is A A R O N. If I want to delete, see. Now the student delete. The name is deleted. From CSCF four nine class, the student zero zero one one is deleted. Let's go to the main database over here. Okay. Since I have added a new student on. The Four nine class that's zero 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 one one one, or if you wanna check it in a different class, let's see, let's check it in a, this class, CSA four sixteen. Let's add a student, the same name. Zero 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 one one one. Name will be name. Add a student. Since in four sixteen, I added a student. If I wanna delete, I can delete from here too. So now let's take add a name. Let's think about any of these class. All of this works. We can take this class, 409, that's Android class. And let's take attendance, okay? Take attendance. So today's date is 10 22 2019. And my class is CSCF 409. My student ID, it asks for a student ID. And once I put my student ID number and press the check in, and it's going to give the attendance. And the attendance, 409, it's going to give me the date and the time and everything. Okay, so. Zero 
zero zero one one one. Check in. Okay, for the date and the attendance and the class four nine and the date of ten twenty two two thousand nineteen, I have one student present. I can see the details from this class over here. Zero zero one one one. That's the present class. Okay. If I want to add some other class, say the name and everything is copied from the attendance system. In these over here, zero 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 one 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 and four nine zero 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 zero. One one one. See everything is same. The student ID and everything, the Mac's ID, student name, they are same. Since we match it and then we copy it. Okay. If you wanna put like any other student, like this said zero zero, check in. Try to check in. Invalid. Since there is no student name zero 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 with the student ID, so it is invalid. But if I wanna add one two six zeros, so I see there's a student on four nine with the six zeros the student ID. If I check it in, it's gonna be two. And the student attendance will be accepted on the day 10, 22, 2019. It's gonna go down. The more student we have, the more student it will go down and it shows the number of check-in student. And that's the take attendance and add a student. I, I already show you that. And that's my logout button out of there. And if you want us do it for the same for the Java class 309 and this class 309, you can do all of that too. So this is a different class. Two, I'm sorry, this is 262. So And it goes by date. Once you make attendance, it goes by date. On which date you took attendance like this? Attendance on 409 on this date. Okay, let's do the attendance of 416. Attendance of 416, I already added a student tech attendance. Zero 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 one one one. Now, you see the four nine, right? Attendance on four nine over here. Now it's gonna make it the new child named four six. You already have a four sixteen child, so it's gonna add a new child on the four sixteen. That will be the date, and the, inside the date, I'm gonna have a student ID. See, okay. On four sixteen, in the attendance, I get the attendance and the date. I get the same student zero 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 one one one. Since the number of present is one, it does the one. But if I put the some other number, it's gonna get invalid. In the Firebase database, it's like that. This is the main database, attendance ahead. And attendance is my child of the main database and the student are two. Does the student put all the students I have in a class like 409, 416, all the classes students, I can put it over there. And the attendance, keep the record of the all attendance. In 409 class, these are the attendance. In 416 class, these are the attendance. This shows all the number of attendance of a student. This, this, and since I have used only a database using a Firebase, this is completely Firebase, and I have some code up here. One second, this is my main activity. This is my main activity. This is where I made the splash screen, and after that, the login and submit button, and then I put that to the second activity. The second activity goes to login and the register. Either I have to log in using a valid Firebase authentication. I use the Firebase authentication. And this is my splash screen. This is the at first, there's this splash timeout. That's a splash screen. And add a student. If I want to add a student in the class name one, what's the class name? It checks everything. And it just uses the child and everything. There's some code, but it's a little bit hard over here since I have put it all everything in GitHub. You can check it from the GitHub. And this is the tech attendance activity. It says all the date and time is goes by like our system date and time. And this after they check it, it's gonna put it everything back in the database. And if you wanna take it out everything from a database, you can take it out in Excel set using the JSON format. Excel in the JSON and you can then change it to an Excel file. And once you export it into a JSON, it's gonna export in JSON and the JSON file will be downloaded. And once the JSON file is downloaded, you can change it to an Excel form to know the details. Okay, that's it. And this is students. The students take all the students. I have some constructor. That's the constructor I've used. That's my splash screen, main activity, fourth, fifth activity. This takes the take attendance button and everything logout button. 
I have put it over here since I have put it in the main menu, it's everywhere. Okay, the main thing we need to know in this project is how the virus database works. This is the main database, and this is the attendance, and after that, this is the class. We go one by one. These are all the child. We use the dot child format in the database. Once again, okay, I'll show you how it's turned in. Okay, I wrote, the, I got a database reference dot child button value. This the button value is for 16 class value to the string. And I check the magnet ID, get the string to a string. And I, once I check the value, I save the value to a student. And then the class, the student name, and the magnet ID is checked. I didn't if if it's empty it's gonna say the student does at it and this is the bridge building that is if you want to delete the student that's how we're gonna delete the student by looking at the by putting the name by giving the student name or the ID and then I check in the database if that's in the database it's gonna delete it. The main thing in this project was to copy from the student to uh, whenever we make attendance, it was hard to copy. So once again, okay, let me show you. Okay, take attendance. When I take attendance, we have to copy on the data change. Attendance is on click listener, we change the data and we had to copy it from the student. We had to copy it from the student to attendance part because the ID number and the reference number should be the same. So I use this in the take attendance system that's a code to copy the data from the take the snapshot. Mainly it's like taking a snapshot in Android to take to take the snapshot from the attend student system to attendance. See one second ago, I'll show you in the code. See. In four sixteen zero zero one one one. Look, magnet ID this and the student ID this, the student name is next. And if you go to 416, okay, that's 416. And 416 over here is 011. At first, I put it over here in a student. I added a student over here. Once I take as attendance, the student name, student ID, and magnet ID. It's all I copied over here. See, the, they all are same. No, I'm sorry, these all are same. If they all are same, that means I took the snapshot from the student says, student child to uh, attendance child of that main database. And if you want to do it for the different days, like you don't have to change the date. The system going to take the date differently every day since I took it for the first time in 424 2019 and today I did it in the 1022 2019. So after six months, once I did it, the date was automatically changed. I never did anything to change the date. So this is my attendance project and everything is in GitHub. If you want to look the code and everything, I have put it in the GitHub and you can get the GitHub link from down the screen. Okay, that's all.